What's up, everybody? How y'all doing? Welcome to episode 79 of Monday Musings, which is my personal vlog, 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 my personal vlog space where I just talk about life and things in general nature. Um, today is going to be a special episode because I'm diving into analytics again. Um, I did a video at the beginning of August where I said, here's my first six months monetized on YouTube. Here's what it looks like. I made some predictions about things and uh, uh, quest create a few other things. And we got to the end of August and August was our best month yet. It was also the end of my third month going full time on YouTube. So I wanted to do another analytics video because it was it was well received and I got a lot of people from my community thanking me for the transparency and I just I want to continue that. Um it's it's interesting to me when other people post their journeys. So hopefully my journey can be equally interesting. So today, episode 79 is going to be an analytics journey. Um, there are other things we can talk about with life and everything else, but we can always do those on another week. Um, but very quickly, I can update everyone on the fact that uh, today being Monday, um, Chris and I, unless something has happened to change that, we are going to the lumber yard today and getting lumber for the Lotro chicken coop build and the rescue cat outdoor shelter. So theoretically, that's happened by the time this comes out at 7 a.m. We're supposed to be at the lumber yard doing that. So fingers crossed that's actually happening. <laughs> <laughs> and something could happen. You never know. The weather could change. But that's actually taking place finally. So those those are two big updates that we can give everybody, um, which means we're going to be having new content coming to both this channel and the other channel, the Marginal Boundaries channel, as we are going to be documenting the chicken coop build here because it's related to Lord of the Rings Online, and the cat shelter is related to the other project. So, well, anyway, um, the GoFundMe is still ongoing for that cat, uh, the, the cats as well. So if you want to help out with the rescue cats, you can. We have the three males being scheduled already going to go in to get neutered on September 17th is the current schedule. So thanks to those of you who have contributed to the GoFundMe because that is currently paying for them to get neutered and all of their post-operation medication as well. So thank you. And it paid for the lumber to buy the, to build the, uh, rescue shelter and then the, um, Lotro Lumber came from the June stretch goal that we had here on YouTube during my first month of full-time YouTubing. That's the update for members. Thanks very much. I know everyone wants to talk about the analytics, so we're just going to dive right into the analytics. So for the month of August, um, I don't know why it's got this pop-up. There we go. Went away. Your hard work paid off. Publishing more videos contributed to your channel, getting more views than usual. We did 82,000 views for the month. We're up watch hours, we're up subscribers, and we had a very good estimated revenue. Now, I am recording this on 9, at 9.30 in the morning on September 4th, so we're a few days into September already. But we can talk about the numbers now because um, they've come through and they look very, very good. So one of the first things you can see in this graph is we're looking at raw views through these three months. So um, my first full-time month was the month of June. So we can see here in the month of June, um, we did um, 55,000 views for the month of June, then we did 76,000 views for the month of July, and for the month of August, we did 82,000 views. Um, noteworthy is that in both June and July, I did multiple 12-hour streams, and I think I only did one 12-hour stream during the month of August. Um, I think it was the celebratory stream at the beginning of the month when I celebrated hitting 4,000 subscriptions. Um, once I hit 4,000 subs, I forget when that was, sometime, it wasn't the beginning of the month, but some, whenever I had the hit 4,000 subscribers, I did a celebratory 12-hour stream. I played Fallout 76 for the day. Um, that was the only 12-hour stream I did. So even despite the fact that I did fewer 12-hour streams, in August, we had better views overall across all content. Um, more views during live streams, more views on videos, um, and etc. So um, I don't think I published that many more videos than normal. Um, it's just uh, we had a good month. So um, the big thing, though, is the estimated revenue. Our revenue was up quite a bit. Now we can look at the audience. Uh, just look at growth, for example, too. We were we were on par. The growth wasn't up that much. Like we've been around 300 a month for quite some time. Like 
236, 268, 330, 299, 314. We did 370. So our growth was kind of average um, for the month of August. Around 300 is, is a good month for me because I do average around 8 to 10 followers a day. That's the average. Again, it goes up and down because it's usually you'll have like 25, 30 in one day and then a day with two or three and then a day with 15 and then a day with three or four and then maybe three days where I get 15 to 20 and then a few days where I only get one or two. It's the average that I look at. So uh, we averaged, um, you know, our, our typical average is 300-ish a month and we definitely stayed true to that average. But the big one was the revenue. Um, the revenue was the big one we look at because we did a very good month revenue-wise. Um, and we can very quickly go down here and we're just now getting into the month of um, uh, September now. Why is that taking a while to load? That's not wanting to clear this out of the way. So um, June, we did $716. July, we did $800. And August, we did $1,200 in uh, revenue. Now that is split into, as you can see here for the month, we had um, $982 of transaction revenue, $204 of ad revenue, and $23 of YouTube premium. And most of that was coming from, if we scroll down here to the very bottom, which my head is covering this, let's, can I move this out of the way? Video capture device, move it over here. Uh, we had, um, $825 of Super Chats, $71 of Super Thanks, $62 in Memberships, and $23 in Super Stickers. Um, so it was a very good month, monetarily-wise, considering we only ever ask right now for the moment. Uh, we're shooting for $700 a month for our minimums. Why is it continuing to trigger? I don't know what this tooltip is here. Oh I, oh, I know why. So it's triggering off of that. There we go. I got rid of it. it took me a minute. Um, so it's a very good month for our revenue as a whole. Now, I do want to make the caveat of saying that the reason we had such a good month is because we had one individual, um, in particular, I'm not going to call them out. If you've been during live streams, you've seen who they are. Um, they're very active in our World of Warcraft guild and our, um, uh, our discord as well. And I want to say thank you, sir for your generosity. Thanks to everybody. But, you know, the, the the caveat here being that one individual had a very good month for the month of August and they were very generous um, towards me during their very good month. And that's going to be something that changes every single month because I've talked about this in the last analytics video. The the transaction revenue that I'm going to bring in from Super Chats and stuff is going to vary like this as we get deeper into things because everybody's got different levels of disposable income and it changes on a month-to-month -month basis. Some months, some people have lots of money to burn. Other months, they might not. They might have a doctor visit that they need this month, so they need to spend $300 at the doctor. Other months, they have $300 that they spend on their various streamers that they're watching. So it, it does change month-to-month. -month. So um, we had one individual who gave more than $400 in the month of August, um, which skews that number high. So if you take that $1,200, that, that, that um, $400 out of the $1,200 equation, we did about the same amount as we did in the month of July in terms of just the, the aggregate score. So we had about the same amount of transactions from, in terms of the number of transactions, the amount of transactions, etc that was all kind of the same it was a little higher than it was in um july so june was better july was better than june and august was a little better than july so just as much as we went from 716 dollars to 800 dollars in the month of um, july we had a slight growth in the month of august as well um the big thing for me is the fact that the um, the ad revenue grew through the month. And that was a strategic decision. If you remember when I did this analytic video at the beginning of August, I said one of the big things for me is raising the ad revenue up until it gets to the point where we're making $10 a day of ad revenue by the end of the year. That's my personal goal. I think it's obtainable. Um, in order to do that, I have to publish more videos because I get lots of money from the live streams. I get super chats and everything else, but the ad revenue is 
can only be affected really by uploaded content because the uploaded content is going to be the stuff that tends to get searched for and has that evergreen factor to it which brings in pennies per day, dollars per day, whatever it is per video. So the more videos you upload to YouTube, the more revenue you're bringing in, even if it is pennies. So the strategy here is just upload as much as you possibly can so that that number grows. And one of the things I focused on for the month of August, if you remember, was being very strict about my schedule, being very militaristic and disciplined. So 3.30 a.m. wake-ups, Streaming with my brother Monday through Friday, 4 a.m. to 6 a.m. World of Warcraft. Then immediately going from that, doing streams with um, Maduro's more World of Warcraft. So that drives the live stream, that drives the traffic, that drives super chats. Then going away from that and doing at least one, if not two, videos per day in the areas that I know are going to generate a decent amount of traffic for me. Now, not all of the time, but most of the time, I'm focused on things that I know are going to generate videos that get at least a few hundred views if not to a few thousand views now my content is right now the channel has a major focus on mmorpg content and rings of power content those are the two main focuses for my channel the algorithm recognizes those pieces of content and promotes that type of content to my audience if i try to stray outside of those two areas i don't get as many views and the reason is because the algorithm doesn't recognize that as a normal piece of content they don't think that my viewers want to see it, and they don't promote it out to my viewers. In order for that to change, I have to be willing to spend months of time only putting out a specific type of video to build up the audience for that type of video. But it also has to have a built-in audience in the first place for me to see the numbers that I want to see. So for the most part, I try to stick to about 85% of the time. I stick to videos that I know are going to get a decent amount of views. The other you know, 15% of the time, I'm focusing on videos that I think are fun, that might not necessarily get good views, but are pleasurable to me to put out and help keep me sane so that I'm not only producing content for the algorithm. And, but in any case, what I want to talk about here is the numbers because we can see here at the beginning of the month, you know, here's 420, you know, six. So here's, here's basically $5, $6, $5, $6, you know, so we're slowly, you know, kind of in that five to six dollar range had a couple of days where it went lower it's not wanting to track the data here for me here really quick there we go so we had some other days down here it dropped down to four dollars that's a low day but that's about the lowest day of the month was this day right here when we only did four dollars in ad revenue um other days because i'm posting more content you're going to see dips like this where we raise up we do nine you know almost ten dollars that day and then over here we've got a day where we did eleven dollars a day we did uh fifteen almost sixteen dollars here's another seven dollar day and then here we start to get rings of power rant videos and the and and review videos and stuff um and so we're ad revenues jumping up into the 14 and 15 dollar range and ideally uh, as a result we did 200 dollars of ad revenue compared to let's look at the drop down here and um oops i clicked the last seven days that's not what i wanted to do uh, let's look at July. So the month of July, we only did $160 in ad revenue, but that was compared to the previous month where we only did like 120 or 130, I think $130 of ad revenue. Um, so then, uh, seeing that growth in September and August, excuse me, means we went from like $120 a month to $130 a month to $160 a month to $200 a month. Now we get to see, can I, raise the growth again in um, the month of September for overall growth with ad revenue. Because ideally what I'd like to see this month is to skew that number even higher and try to get to $230 or $250 for the month. Because the goal again is to get to $10 a day average in ad revenue by the end of the year, which would be $300 a month. So if I can do like a $30 a month to $50 a month increment, every single month that's september october november december i've got four months basically to get from 200 dollars a month to 300 dollars a month so if i see a 25 dollars a month increase then i'll be happy with that obviously a bigger increase is better but um any increase is good i'm always interested in the net growth so for me i'm i'm mostly interested in trying to get this to 300 dollars a month because knowing that my bills are only 500 dollars a month 
Um, if I can get the the ad revenue up to three hundred dollars a month, then the ad revenue will be enough. I mean, obviously taxes have to come out and everything else, but um, that combined with you know just a handful of super chats would pay my bills, allowing me to stream less and focus more on high quality content to upload to YouTube as opposed to being live all the time. Because right now I have to be live all the time. And that's it's fun, but I also don't want to be live all the time. I would much rather have a schedule where I'm live six hours a day, right? And right now I split it up and I do live in the morning, live at night, and then during the daytime I do video production. I would very much rather look at like what a schedule like Asmogold or Dr. Disrespect have where they stream for six to eight hours a day. That's their day job component. And then they do video production outside of that and then they have a team that works on cutting the, those eight hour streams down into pieces of content that get uploaded to YouTube. And in a perfect world, I've talked about this, if we continue to see the growth that we're seeing across YouTube, I'm gonna go to my community and I'm gonna find someone who wants to help out and who is an active individual and who is trustworthy and who wants to be a part of this and wants to come on board as a video editor for me and help me do video editing. And that'll help, you know, that'll happen by the end of the year. It's gonna happen by people like you continuing to support the channel the way you've been doing so far. Which is the point of this video where I get to say, hey, first and foremost, thanks to those of you who have been contributing. How do you contribute? There's a variety of ways. One, if you're watching a video like this, you can do a super thanks down below. That's the button right down there where you can click on any video that's been uploaded to my channel and say thanks. And you can contribute whatever it is that you want to contribute, whether it's $2, $5, $50, $200, whatever you want. There's a button down there that you can hit to contribute. Beyond that, you can join as a member of the Adventurers Guild, which is $2.99 a month. Every month, we see good growth on the memberships. And of course, during live streams, super chats and stickers during live streams. All of those ways are great ways to contribute. And as we continue to see things grow, then I'll be able to hire someone to come work for me as a video editor. And ideally that'll happen by the end of the year if we continue to see the same type of growth. Because if I see, you know, we did $1,200 in August. If we see $1,500 in September, and then we see, you know, 20, then we see $1,700 in October and we see $2,000 a month in November and you know $2,200 a month or whatever by December then that's gonna that that net growth will track in such a way that I will then be able to take a chunk of that change and hire somebody to help me um, and if you want to see that happen and if you want to help contribute towards that happening that those are the ways you can help you can also go over to the patreon page because that's growing right now and we're pushing that hard because we're trying to get that to $3,000 a month because once we get to $3,000 a month, I get to bring Nathan on as like a full-time artist working with us and I can give him a chunk of the pie as well. So that's the other way you can contribute is by going over to the Patreon page, patreon.com forward slash wandering hermits and just picking an amount and going from there. The net growth is also over there. Although I will say that the month of August was one of our slowest months, we still had a net growth in the sense that we gained one member it's the slowest month we've had all year. We only gained one member because most months we gained, we gained three to five. Sometimes we've gained eight. Um, it was our slowest month yet, but we still gained one member. So it was a net growth month, which is very, very good for us. Um, in any case, these are the raw numbers, which is a very good place to be. Um, being able to increase things over time is always going to be the most important component in what we're doing here um so looking at the month of august like i said we were up across the board for views we were up across the board for watch time up across and and watch time has a lot to do with um just streaming more and uploading more and doing more things and so since you're doing more things there's naturally more views happening across the board on all your content. So, for example, May, I was still getting the internet sorted out. I went full-time in June. We had five, you know, 5,200 watch hours. We had 6,300 in July. We had 7,600 in August. Now, some of that is related to just the amount of time people are dedicating to the content. So, some of that's because I'm uploading more. But uploading more, there's a cap to how much I can physically do because I am one person. This is where this is where it goes into you know Nathan and I have like looked at what Asmongold has done and you know Asmongold sometimes puts out like ten or twelve videos a day on YouTube. 
I can't do that. I'm one person. Asmongold has a team of people who are editing his videos down into clips, creating thumbnails for him, and then that gets uploaded and he just doesn't really have to do any of that. So in a perfect world, when I get to the point where I can have a team member, I will be able to increase my production. I'll be able to double it at that point because I'll be able to go from what I could do by myself to having another person doing that for me. And they'll be care taking care of all the video editing, all the thumbnails and all the uploads. And then all I have to do is just double check everything and then push it live. Um, and maybe even not that, maybe if I get a person that, that can be trained well enough, I don't even have to do any of that because I'll just be able to trust them to handle it for me. So um, very interesting to see where all the growth is going. Um, it, again, very good month in the month of August. Um, and now we get to see if the month of September is going to be just as good. Uh, hopefully it will be. Um, I don't think I'm going to be, it's going to be about the same this month. Um, the difference is that as opposed to, there's going to be a lot more World of Warcraft streaming this month. Um, I'm, I'm reducing my time in EverQuest 1 and adding more World of Warcraft because we're prepping for the, the, the launch of Wrath of the Lich King by the end of the month. Um, I'm also adding the Lord of the Rings chicken build videos and adding some stuff over at the Marginal Boundaries website, YouTube channel, sorry, um, in terms of the, the cat shelter build. So that's kind of all new, but that's, it's not going to necessarily be taking the place of other stuff that I'm doing. I'm just going to be reducing, like if I'm uploading five videos a week, one of those videos is going to be for Marginal Boundaries as opposed to five videos here. Um, so we'll just see how that goes. But mostly I'm going to be focused on this month. Lots lots more Rings of Power content because the show is out now. So we're reviewing the episodes. More Rings of Power rants because i got more stuff to talk about. Plus questions my wife has around the show. We have the Star Wars and or show coming at the end of the month. So I'm going to review that. This is a new Game of Shows, Game of Thrones show. I'm going to review that. Uh, lots more World of Warcraft, more World of Warcraft videos, more Pantheon videos. Um, a little less EverQuest. Um we got one more week of Sea of Thieves, and then then we're on to uh, Fallout 76 at on Monday nights, continuing a console journey. Um, November, well, that's November. We're not going to talk about November yet. So that's just the month of September right now, is preparing for Wrath of the Lich King. So more World of Warcraft stuff this month and lots of other cool content. So if you got to the end and you like this video... Make sure to like, follow, and subscribe. Hit the bell icon so you get updates like this in the future. Don't forget, every Monday morning I do these Monday Musings episodes. Usually these are talking about life. Today is a special one because I want to do an analytics video talking about my first three months as a full-time content creator and streamer and showing you the numbers are going up. Some of that is just producing more videos, but a lot of that, as you can see, the Super Chat revenue is driving the bulk of my income from YouTube, and that's you. The, the community who are showing up on live streams. But we also had a lot of, of super thanks revenue last month. And that's for people clicking that button down there and saying thanks for the content I produce on any given video. So thank you so much for them because that was also up. That's not a huge number compared to the super chats, but it's a number that's been growing steadily as more and more people are using that super thanks button, which is awesome. That's what it's there for. Thank you so much. Um, and then doing live streams the super chats and stickers so thanks so much for everybody we're going to be keeping the same goal for this month i mean like i said i'm, I'm not greedy um i need about 700 dollars a month from youtube because after taxes i'm left with about 500 dollars a month which pays my bills so another month the same routine. We're looking to raise about 700 dollars in super chats you know and we've done that seven eight hundred dollars the last three months we've hit those numbers which is awesome uh, september again we had a twelve hundred dollar month because one one person was very very generous thank you so much um it's going to fluctuate every single month too but um as long as we hit those minimums then we're going to be good because that keeps the internet paid the light bill on the air conditioner on um and now we just keep fingers crossed that there's no like uh <laughs> equipment failure <laughs> Because there's no there's no budget for equipment failures at the moment, um, and I'm very lucky in the sense that I'm I'm in a debt free position right now where I don't have any there's no credit card debt there's no mortgage there's no car payment we have no debt so um, I would hate to have to do that so we'll see I'm also gonna be uh, the beard is gonna get trimmed this month ladies and gentlemen I hit uh, it's it's scraggly down at the ends and that's because I do this all the time um, and also the first it grows different on each side. And for the, you know, for the first year, 
year and a half, I was always trimming the back part so that it would kind of look a little even on both sides because it is thicker on this side than it is on this side and it grows different angles. So I can get like stuff that comes out here and then nothing here and it looked funny. So I was always kind of trimming. But now that it's gotten long enough, I can kind of comb it all down and it looks roughly the same. But you'll notice like, here's an example. If I pull this to the side, you see that? That's, you know, six inches of growth. That's because I haven't trimmed that like I normally would. I've just been letting it grow. And it's the same thing on the other side. I've got some of that's doing. So what I'm doing is I'm just going to let that grow out. I continually let that grow out, and eventually it'll catch up. But I've never done a maintenance trim, not in two years. So it's actually, if you did the whole length of the beard, you know, I go all the way down to here. Now, not all of that beard looks great. Like, that is... This is all scraggly and thin down here. You see that? So we're going to come in and we're probably going to cut that much off. In a perfect world, I'll probably just come in here and take the scissors and just go right like that and just go snip. I don't know what that's going to look like, but that's probably what I'll do. You can even see it right now. If you look at my beard straight on, see how it's thicker on this side than it is on, like you can see like the neckline of my shirt through the beard more on this side than you can on this side. And that's because it's thicker here than it is here. It is what it is. But um, this will be the first time I've done a trim. Um, I'm going to do that maintenance trim and cut off all the, the, the split, split ends and everything else. And then this, you can even see right here, this is not as long as the rest of it. So we're going to continue to let all this grow out and flesh it out on each side until it's all even. So this will be the first time I've done a maintenance trim. I should probably start um, using maintenance products and I need to try to stop doing this when I'm live streaming because I pull it a lot, which pulls hairs out, which causes unequal growth, uneven growth throughout the beard. So I gotta try to stop. It's a bad habit I have. I have, a, I have nervous fingers. And usually if like, I have a pen, I'll be clicking the pen, but you can hear that on stream. So I try not to do that. The other thing is I love to shuffle cards, but you can also hear that on stream. So I've tried to avoid doing things that would make noise on the stream. Anyway, that's the analytics update, and that's the life update. Thanks for watching. Thanks for your support. Hopefully we'll see you next time we're live. Hopefully we'll see you supporting on the channel. And for those of you who already have been, thank you so much for your support. I appreciate it. It keeps the lights on. It keeps us going. It keeps us multi-streaming with Nathan and Sparrow and Kel and Bounty and Vendini and... Mujin and all the other people playing with so thanks for supporting all of them as well as we continue to grow up together um see you next time everybody thanks so much have a good day